teachers or boyfriends or um, anyone else. So I want to just give that inclusive word for everyone today and we're holding many feelings of celebration and maybe pain as well. And we can bring them all with us here to worship. Are there any church announcements this morning? Yes. Well, normally when I stand up, I have a prop with me. Are you worried I don't have a prop? Okay, my prop was way too heavy to bring up here. So instead, I'm going over here asking my prop, Dale, to stand up, please. <laughs> How many of you noticed the board downstairs? Yeah. Yeah. Dale did it. Yeah. We are so thankful. <laughs> Bonnie and I have had to gather those name tags up numerous times, tried to keep them in alphabetical order so that when we put them back down, they would be okay. So we truly appreciate it. Dale, thank you very much. Good morning. Um, so, as the uh, as the council chair and the uh, first congregation of the church is sort of the go-to church when uh, troubles arise among um, people within the community. And I got a call um, this week, uh, Friday and Saturday, with a young woman who uh, currently is living in. North Walpole, uh, she has twin boys age 12, and she's homeless. Um, she lives with <clears throat> friends and acquaintances some of the time, but the rest of the time they're in the back of their car. Uh, she is looking for an apartment. Um, truthfully, I think that she knows that we have a parsonage. Um, so uh, she was. she's just reaching out to everybody that she knows to get the word out uh, that if she can afford something up to a thousand dollars a month. So if that speaks to you, then speak to me. Thanks a lot. Okay, just want to remind everyone Next week is number one, pie sale. So hopefully everyone gets ambitious and makes me a pie next Sunday. Thank you. I have two announcements. Um, the first one is this Saturday at 6 o'clock is our movie and pizza night. Um, the movie is 90 Minutes in Heaven, and I hope you all will come to see it. Um, the second one is Chuck and I are going to be passing around some cards um, for everyone to sign for Marina and Christian. 
I don't know if they will be back in the church again, um, but if we could get them signed and then we'll mail them off, that'd be nice. Okay, there's a right there. Good morning. <coughs> We've got a lovely rainbow up there. It's about half a rainbow. So anyone that has their bottles with them can leave them in the pews. We'll collect them afterwards. And anybody that still has a bottle, if you could bring it next Sunday, that would be fantastic and wonderful. And I appreciate everybody's support on Baby Bottle Drive. Thank you. You would probably... <clears throat> You're probably asking yourself, why on earth would Frank ever trim his beard in such a ridiculous manner? Well, the answer is, I'm in a show at Vermont Academy on July 6th. We're opening with HMS Pinafore, and I've recently been stepped up to the role of Boson. So it's, uh, you can get your tickets and all of the information online at MainStreetArts.org. Thank you. I just happened to look out the window and noticed how lovely the, the memorial garden is right now. Uh, Sue Scott comes and does a lot of work, and she and Janet conspired to buy a new arbor for it. So if you have a moment and it's not raining too hard after church, it's really worth spending some time in our beautiful memorial garden. Mumble. Am I the last one? Good. No? No, no, no. Who's, else? Who's before me? Okay, Chuck gets to go last. Uh, would you turn in your hymnal to the number of the first hymn, Marching Desire? I believe it's 596. Turn to 596. So this is Music Sunday. It's the last Sunday the choir will be singing with you and for you and supporting you. And here's what you want to know about this service. First of all, the intro is the very old New England hymn, How Can I Keep From Singing? I urge you to listen to the words. The very last hymn is Lift Every Voice and Sing. That's not by accident that we're doing that last. But the very beginning one, Marching to Zion, take a look at the second verse. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God. Now, I don't know how many of you know this, but I actually live on the other side of the river. I'm a Vermonter. I live in Westminster West, and we have a wonderful history of the town that was compiled during the centennial. So here's your little story background on this hymn. Back in the 19th century, dissent arose in the Westminster West Church. I don't actually know what people were disagreeing with, but they were disagreeing over it. And the church ended up very polarized. And half the church agreed with the minister, and half the church agreed with the choir on whatever it was. And finally things came to a head, and the choir talked amongst themselves and said, Come Sunday, we're just going to sit there. The music's going to start, everybody's going to look at us, and we're just going to sit there on strike. And the minister got wind of this. And at the beginning of the service, he came in and said, All rise, and join in hymn 596, beginning with the second verse. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God. So for Music Sunday, you get a little bit of my town and my history in that, just in that first story. May the peace of Christ be always with you. Let us greet one another with the sign of peace.
Oh, the endless song of all words.